Zanam for Science is the uh, organic movement of uh, scientists, people from universities, but also citizens who want to defend the fact that knowledge uh, should come from uh, the scientific method and not from any type of uh, opinion. This day is to actually defend all those people who are working for the truth, who are working for science, who are working for knowledge, but also working for education. To me, it's really important that we keep trusting the work that is produced by science, which is knowledge. A society cannot evolve if we do not have knowledge. You cannot educate if you do not have knowledge. So if we do not have science, that's why today I'm supporting Stand Up for Science. Currently, there are, there are three main types of, uh, of attacks against uh, against science. First one would be hundreds of millions of budgets that is scrapped. The second uh, type of attack is scientists from one day to to the other are uh, jobless and cannot uh, continue their, their their research. And the third uh, type of attack that we see, hundreds and hundreds or even thousands of uh, pages of data linked to uh, climate change, for instance, linked to inclusion and, and, uh, and diversity. If all this data is, uh, is deleted, it means that scientists that use uh, this, uh, this data cannot continue doing their job. Without academic freedom, it's a clear attack to our democracy, to our social justice system. Without that, we cannot progress and even we may risk to walk back. Without diversity perspectives, we cannot have science, social science, but any science. Because otherwise we will risk to do not see some biases. And those also are important first to understand how we can level the playing field for everyone, for queer people, for women, for people of color. And that's why a diversity of ideas, diversity of background, diversity of people is key to science. The consequences can be, can be terrible because, uh, of course, the way we organize ourselves as a society, the way we organize our economies, the way we will face climate change, for instance, all this has to be based on the scientific research, scientific research. And uh, if uh, this is cancelled, if uh, some people have the power tomorrow to decide that any type of opinion has the same weight, the same uh, influence on uh, national and international politics, than strong results that come from methodological research, then that can be very, very consequential. We need science to understand the impact of our actions and policies on people and the planet. And this is very important for ESC.